Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system where we can create our own 3D models, including for 3D printing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. Now let's move on to a new project in the part design module. We are creating a new parametric part and we'll start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Here we will start by creating a rectangle. Select the centered rectangle command and check this option to create a rectangle with rounded corners. Place the center of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system and draw a rectangle measuring 50 by 50 millimeters and enter a corner radius of 20 millimeters. Hit enter and we have something like this. Close the sketch and now let's add an extrusion of 20 millimeters and click OK. Now we will create another sketch. Choose to create a sketch and select the XZ plane as the sketch plane. Here we will start by creating the external geometry. Select the Create External Geometry command and create a reference geometry based on this edge. Switch to the Sketch Plane view and select the Arc Drawing tool. Choose the three point arc and draw the arc so that the first point of the arc is on the y axis. Then place the second point of the arc anywhere and roughly define the arc radius so that it looks similar to this. OK? Right click to cancel the arc drawing command. And now let's adjust the shape of this arc a little bit. Let's do it in such a way that the center of the arc is placed on the y axis. Select the center of the arc, select the y axis, and choose the coincident constraint. Then place this point at the height of this point. Select these two points and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. OK, and here let's do it in such a way that this point is placed on the x-axis. Select this point, select the x-axis and choose the coincident constraint. Let's add the distance between this point and this point. Select these two points, press the D key and enter 35 millimeters as the distance between these points. Right click to cancel the dimensioning. I am creating this sketch in order to remove material based on this sketch by rotating the sketch around the specified axis. To perform this operation, I need an area from which this material will be removed. Here we have only the arc, so now I will select the polyline drawing command and create a polyline approximately like this. OK, the shape and dimensions of the polyline do not matter much. I just want to close this arc to create an area based on which we will remove material. Now we close the sketch and select the groove operation to remove material by rotating the sketch around the specified axis. Here, by default, the vertical axis of the sketch has been selected as the axis to perform this operation. Click OK to confirm and in this way we have created something like this. Now we will create another sketch. Choose to create a sketch and select the XY plane as the sketch plane. Here draw a circle whose center will lie on the Y axis. Draw a circle with a diameter of 5 millimeters. OK, right click to cancel the circle drawing command. Next, select the Create External Geometry command and create a reference geometry based on this edge. Right click to cancel this command. Then select the center of the circle. Select this line and choose the coincident constraint to place the center of the circle on this line. Close the sketch and now we will remove material from the solid based on this sketch. Select the pocket operation and here as you can see nothing happened since the pocket is by default added in the other direction. But if we select the reversed option here, the pocket will be added. 
As the pocket type, choose through all to create a through pocket and click OK. While preparing for this lesson, I created a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters, where the edges of the circle coincided with the endpoints of the fillets, and based on such a circle, I could not create a pocket. It is possible that you will also get an error during this operation. At this point, I skipped it and created a circle with a different diameter. The main goal of the lesson is different, and I want to focus here on what will happen in a moment. Next, select these two edges while holding the control key and add a filler with a radius of 2 millimeters. Click OK. Now hold the control key, select the pocket operation and select the fillet, then choose the polar pattern operation to create a circular pattern of these two operations. Enter 4 as the number of elements to create additional copies of these two operations. Click OK to confirm, and this way we created something like this. Now select the top face of the solid and choose the fillet command to create a radius here. Let's add a radius of 1mm and click OK. Now I will show you an interesting trick. I will show you how to add an offset to the edge so that we create geometry that will be offset by, for example, 5 millimeters from the outer edge of the solid to create a pocket in this solid. We can do something like this by copying the entire solid. Here I select this solid, press Ctrl C. Now select everything, click OK. And then press Ctrl V to create a second solid. Now I select the first solid and press the spacebar to hide this solid. This solid needs refreshing. So I click this button to recalculate this solid. Now I switch to the draft module. Based on this solid, we will create a surface. Select this solid and from the modification menu, choose the downgrade command. I turn off the visibility of this grid so that it does not obstruct our view. This solid has been divided into faces. I need this face. It is the face 003, so I select all the faces. I uncheck just this one face and press delete to remove the other faces. Now I select this face and once again from the modification menu I choose the downgrade option to create flat geometry based on this face. Now I switch to the part module, and based on this geometry, we will add an offset to this geometry. From the part menu, choose 2D offset, and add an offset of minus 5 millimeters. Click OK, and we have created such geometry. Now, based on such geometry, we can create a solid in this module, or based on this geometry, we can create a sketch, and that is what we will do. Let's go back to the draft module. Now select this geometry, and from the modification menu, choose the draft to sketch option. A sketch has been created based on this geometry that we can use in the part design module. I select this geometry and press the spacebar to hide this geometry. Here, let's also expand this geometry. I select this one and press the spacebar to hide this geometry as well. And now, let's switch to the part design module. If we want to use this sketch in this solid, we need to drag this sketch to this solid. So we drag and drop this sketch to this body. Now this sketch is in this body, I press the spacebar to turn on the visibility of the solid, select this sketch, choose the pocket operation, and now based on this sketch we will add a pocket. But here, as you can see, nothing happened either, so in the first step, I select the reversed option to see how it looks. Okay, based on this sketch we can create a pocket. Here we can define the depth of this pocket. Let's enter 7mm here and click OK, and this way, 
we created such a solid. Here, I just wanted to show you how to add geometry that will result from offsetting the edges of a solid. And okay, we will finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.